Soccer fans across the nation are still celebrating. Last night, the U.S. women's national team beat Japan for the World Cup. Good evening. I'm Josh Rowe. And I'm Latricia Thomas. This was the first World Cup win for the team in 16 years. News Channel Line's Lauren St. Germain spoke with a few CFC women's players today about what this means for them and the younger generation. Here in the United States, we aren't typically a nation that eats, sleeps, and breathes soccer, especially women's soccer. But the big World Cup win last night could start influencing a change. And it's a change the CFC women's team wants to be a part of. Holiday's ready. Setting it in. Coyote took a swing, got a piece, play, and pass. Go! Just like that, the U.S. women's Go! national team snatches the World Cup title. A win for the record books, but also a win that players and coaches hope will start a women's soccer revolution here in the States. Um, obviously, soccer's not the number one sport over here. Um, they see it as football, baseball. But I think now, especially with the women winning the World Cup, um, a lot of kids are going to get into playing soccer and, hey, I want to play soccer now. Alicia Fry is on the Chattanooga Football Club women's team and a coach. She noticed a difference first thing this morning. You don't normally hear kids talk about soccer, but obviously because of last night and they won, um, it's like, hey, we won the World Cup yesterday. Gretchen Hamill, another player and coach, says the World Cup win sets the bar high, really high. The desire to play, number one, the desire to just up the standard. Um, I coached this morning and my girls were just ready to play. They were just so motivated and so excited. And maybe most importantly, exposing a group of women who can be role models for soccer players. Everyone can see them. They're on the huge stage. Of any age. I was just like that little girl, like, oh, you know, that, that represents me. And so I think it's just going to just set that bar high for, for the American girls. Um, it's going to get a lot of more girls out there wanting to be, you know, hey, I want to be in that spot someday. I want that to be me. Here in Chattanooga, the excitement is just beginning. That's because where I'm standing right now, the turf on Finley Stadium is where the U.S. women's national team will be playing Costa Rica come August 19th. Unfortunately, tickets are already sold out for that game, but for those of you who got them, it is sure to be a knockout game. Reporting at Finley Stadium, Lauren St. Germain, News Channel 9. Fox Sports says Sunday night's game was the highest rating ever for a soccer game in the U.S. on a single network.